catching southern bluefin tuna has really caught on recently uh, in South Australia. The schools seem to have returned in uh, quite large numbers and there's a lot of boats going out and catching them. They're also a wonderful sports fish and people like to continue to catch fish. They may go out and catch southern bluefin tuna and not keep them. And if you're going to do that, you really need to know how to handle that fish so that you can release it and it swims away healthy and can live to fight another day. When fishing for southern bluefin tuna, it's always important to plan ahead. Make sure you have the right gear for the job and understand the regulations before you head offshore. Responsible recreational fishing means taking only what you need. Make sure you stick to the rules regarding bag and boat limits. Because southern bluefin tuna vary greatly in size, it's best to think in advance about how much fish flesh you want, rather than how many individual fish you'd like to keep. For southern bluefin tuna in South Australia, there's a limit of two per person and six per boat per day. Using the right gear and properly handling your fish is essential to reduce the stress it experiences and improve its chance of survival if you plan to release. Educate yourself in the correct way to handle and release your fish before heading off in the boat. Fight time can be reduced by using a heavier line class, a good quality rod and reel, and of course, good fishing technique. Consideration of the type of hook you use is very important, with single hooks greatly improving post-release survival. Replace lure trebles with single J hooks to minimise damage to the fish, and use circle hooks for bait fishing to reduce the chance of deep hooking. If you plan on eating your fish, it's important to realise the way it's handled throughout its capture affects the quality of the flesh. For best results, bring the fish aboard carefully to avoid bruising or damaging the flesh. Once caught, immediately dispatch the fish by administering a spike to the brain. Bleed the fish by making a cut behind the pectoral fin on both sides. Remove the gills and organs as soon as practical and be sure to put the fish into an ice bag, ice chest or esky to quickly cool the body temperature. The Southern Bluefin Tuna Code of Practice has been developed by the Tasmanian University with peak game fishing groups and peak bodies like Recfish SA. It's all about planning ahead to get the most out of your bluefin tuna fishing and doing our best uh, to protect such a valuable resource. The code of practice covers things like the kind of gear we're going to use, the line and the hooks, how we're going to land our fish and preparing in advance for how much fish we want to take home. To find out more or get your copy of the code of practice, you can go to the RecfishSA website, recfishsa.org.au.